Leave her, Sarah. She's at it. Isn't there anything we can do? We can look after this little one for her. Oh, poor little thing. Not the first to have lost its mother, you know. I know, but it's so tiny. Oh, I'll just get rid of this ewe. Jack, what do we do with the lamb, then? Try and get one of the other ewes to take her on. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I thought maybe I could look after it at home. Oh, I... Last year, you wouldn't have a lamb near the place. <sighs> it was different. Don't worry, love. There'll be more than enough lambs for you to look after before we've done. But the sheep had a fair shout. I should hope so. You'll be overdosing if you give her any more. Here, give us some here. So the ewe's going to think that's her lamb because of the smell? Well, that's the idea, yeah. I mean, she's lost hers. Let's hope she'll foster this one. Aren't you supposed to skin the dead lamb and put the fleece over the new one or something? No, I don't hold with that old method. You can pass on dysentery and all sorts. You all right? Yeah, hello. How's Michael doing? Oh, he's lost a you this morning as well. Still, he seems to have it under control. <laughs> it's the one thing we didn't think about. Coping with two lots of lambing. Mm, that'd be easier if Joe was here. Leave you free to concentrate on the organic flock. Yeah. My young Michael seems to have it under control. Hey, you won't believe this. Another letter from a mad rambler about the bullseye. <sighs> Let's see. Is someone running a campaign against us or what? Mm, looks like it. I mean, Michael did take the sign down. I told him to. Yeah, the other day. It's in the barn. Honestly. What are they after? Blood? Wow. It's a very vitriolic bit of prose. You're an irresponsible farmer, Jack. I'll give him irresponsible. I mean, he hasn't even spelt it right. <laughs> yes, he has. Oh, shut up. Whose side are you on? His. That you doesn't seem to want him. It looks like you got your chance then, doesn't it? To be its foster mother. <laughs> we could do a very nice new sign. Oh, I don't know how we're going to pull through this one. Look, I'm not joking, Mark. You've got to pay me back. You'll get it. Yeah, but when? You should have thought of that, Jack, before you lent it to him. No, he should have thought of it before he asked to borrow it. You agreed to lend it to me? Yeah, to teach you a lesson. That you shouldn't go borrowing money if you don't know how you're going to pay it back. You shouldn't get into the habit of borrowing. So what can I do? Have a word with Joe or something. Anyway, you've got to do something, so let me know, OK? All right. Right, Sarah. What do you think of this? I don't know why you're bothering. It won't make any difference. What's that? Oh, another irate rambler. It's pointless. He won't bother sending it, you know. Yes, I will. I've pinned back your ears. I'm open to suggestions. Put it in the bin. <laughs> Dear Mr Barker, thank you for Barker? your letter. Did you say Barker? Yeah, why? Do you know him? No. Well, there's a Barker at school, but there are hundreds of Barkers, aren't there? Do you think Mark knows this idiot Barker, then? Oh, I shouldn't think so. It's a common enough name. Well, he seemed a bit jumpy. I'm not surprised with you lecturing him. <laughs> there, little love. Yeah, I suppose so. How's the lamb? Just finished his feed. Great. Come on, then. Time for bed. Oh, you go, love. I'll stay with him for the first shift. Shift? Yeah. I'll wake you about 3, 3.30, then you can take over, OK? Sarah! But you must call me if anything goes wrong. Promise? <laughs> 